Hey, welcome to Color Up. If you watch crafts videos online, you've probably come across Greg Aloho. He's a bubble crafts player and his strategy is really fun. Essentially, he takes $200, spreads it across all the numbers in the hard ways, and presses and presses and presses until he can cash out a ticket for $1,000. So it's either $1,000 or bust. Pretty wild, but let's see how we can adapt it at a real table. This video is part of my Dice Advice series, and this one was actually sent to me by Shane O. So he saw um, Greg's strategy, and he he'll, he just named this the Aloho, I'm, I'm sorry if that's not how you say your last name, but the Aloho Press. And uh, we're going to adapt it for a $15 table. Now we're gonna go 96 across, $20 here, essentially 116. So to have enough for 10 shooters, like Greg does it, you know, you need 1200 bucks or so. We're just gonna do it scaled down, $15 table, $600 bankroll, and see what happens. There's not a whole lot to the strategy. Again, we're gonna throw in um, $100, tell the dealer you want 96 across, which is essentially $15 units on all the numbers, and then it's an $18 uh, bet on the six and eight, just so to make those proper, again, Greg plays it on a bubble machine, so you don't have to worry about that. So 96 across, and then we're gonna cover our hard ways with $5 a piece. So we're in it for 116, or essentially 120, right? Now, I guess he also throws in some horns and uh, some different things like that. We're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna kind of play these basic bets. But really, this is a hunch strategy. So you just play it on a hunch. If the five rolls and you just wanna press the five, go for it. A lot, of, sometimes he'll spread up part spread his winnings across all the numbers and you know add a little bit to the hard ways but essentially anything you win you dump back in it until well he's changing 200 into a thousand which is basically five extra money we've essentially got 120 dollars out here to five exit we're going to have to get to 600 dollars. so on a real table it's going to be a little trickier to know when you've kind of hit that level and you pull everything down right on the bubble machine it tells you right there on the screen how much you have bet so it makes it real easy to know when he's hit a thousand and can pull out we're uh again i'm repeating myself but 120 we're trying to get to 600 when we get there i don't know you just kind of have to judge it by knowing how much you've added back into it if, if you're off a little bit it never hurts to pull down your money and i and get it off the table All right, I've got $600 here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out 125. And let's get some change here again, because this is 116. I'm just gonna leave it out here because it's easier. So $4 makes 20 and five makes 25. So there's my change. So there's my bets. And we're gonna have them working because why not? Of course, you can wait for a point to be established if you want but I'm pretty sure he just does every roll, I think. All right, just like all my strategies, I am going to compare this against the standard. So stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see how the standard uh, does with this particular set of dice rolls or dice sequence. So, all right, here we go. New shooter coming out, looking for any number. Five, five easy, fives are point. <laughs> five is always easy if you didn't catch that. All right, 15 is going to pay 21, and I'm just gonna to have to try to keep track of this mentally while I'm dealing and playing to when I get close to $600. So what are we gonna do with this money? Let's, um, you know what, let's press the outside numbers. And with this extra dollar, we'll throw it on the hard six. Why? I don't know, just a hunch. All right, here we go. 10, 10 easy. The strategy is all about avoiding the bad number. Um, now these are 20, essentially they'd be bought. So I forgot to mention that. So $20 bet is gonna win 40 minus a dollar big, so 39. So 25, 30, 35, 39. So let's uh, press the five and nine. We'll take those to quarters. And we'll do $12 each on the six and eight, so we'll get a dollar change here, and we'll bump these up $12 each. And you can see why this is a bubble strategy real quick, and then with this money, uh, we'll cover some more hard ways. So we'll bump everything up a dollar, 
and maybe the four and 10, we'll give an extra dollar to. Now we can just clean these up for ease because these are, these are now at the $30 level. And let's keep this roll going. Here we go. Eight, eight easy. There we go. So 30 is going to win 35. Let's press uh, the six. We'll take that up to a $60 bet. And $5 we will add, we'll just add it on the point. So we got a $30 five here. My dice shows a nine, I think I said eight. They pay off the same, so hopefully I didn't make a mistake there, but uh, whatever the roll was, I think the payout's the same, so sorry about the mistake if I made, just made one. All right, here we go. 10, uh, 10 easy. Again, 20's gonna win 40 minus the VIG, so 39. 35, 39, and our hard 10 is coming down, so all $7 comes down there. And if I did roll the eight, the eight easy should be down too. So again, I don't know what to do there. Um, I know it wasn't a hard way. I called an eight, I think. Uh, I'm gonna take it down just to be on the safe side. We're just gonna replace both of these. Uh, we'll put seven dollars each on those and we'll take this and we'll throw it on the nine all right i think we've won about 150 or something uh, but yeah this is not for the faint of heart all right here we go let's keep the roll going eight eight easy all right so that for sure this one comes down it was an eight so 30 is going to win 35. so let's go ahead and press this eight and then, so we've got a $60 bet on the six and eight here, and then we'll throw this $5 back on that hard way eight. All right, here we go. There's the seven. And just like that, it all comes down. I think we won somewhere about $170, close to 200, but uh, we're not collecting until we hit five times our amount. So that's how he plays it. He just takes his money. It's, uh, Win big or go home with nothing. This time we go home with nothing. Well, no, we've got we've got some more bullets, more shooters, more bankroll left to give it another try. So let's go ahead and throw out 100, and we'll keep this 25. So 100 to the dealer. Dealer, let me have 96 across. We get $4 and change, and uh, we'll get this set up here. Click the change, and dealer, we want hardways. Gotta change some red here. $5 and change, and we got $20 hardways. We are set up. We want our bets working. New shooter, here we go. I think we need, I don't, know, I don't know how many rolls, 10 rolls, I guess it depends on what number and what we have pressed up um, to hit. Six the hard way, six hard. So 18 is gonna win 21 here. Our six hard is going to win 45, so 45 there. So let's say, uh, let's press the six and eight, 12 each. So we'll get a dollar change and that will take these up to $30 bets. Let's throw uh, $10 on the five and nine. So we'll take those right up to a quarter. Um, let's go ahead and make these buy bets in the four and 10. And let's uh, really press up the four and 10 hard. Take those to $10 and we'll take these, the six and eight to $6. All right, here we go. Love to see a hard way number. Five, all right, 25 is going to pay 35. And let's just go ahead and take the five to 50. 
And let's take the four and 10 to quarters. All right, here we go. Hard way number eight, 80 easy. Okay, not the hard way. So the eight hard way is gonna come down, but we do get uh, 35 here. Let's go ahead and just press that to $60 bet, and then we'll get $5 back on that hard eight. All right, here we go. Six easy, six easy. This point hit. All right, so the uh, hard way is going to come down. $30 is going to win $35. let us do the same thing. Let's press the six to 60. Cover the hard six back with five. Our puck is going to go off, though. That was our point. You want to work them or you don't want to work them. Kind of my theory on that is every long roll has sevens. So if it's going to be a long roll, when those seven rolls is going to be when that puck is off. Otherwise, the roll wouldn't be long. So we're hoping for a long roll. I'm just going to, mathematically, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, it's just kind of funny math, but here we go. I'm going to leave my bets off. All right, missed out. Six, easy six. Back on the six, and again, the bad number could roll any time. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Six the hard way. Worked out good for us that time. So 60 is going to win 70. And then five is going to win 45. So now we probably already won about 200, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. So how do we want to divide all this stuff up here? So this is the fun part, I guess. So let's go ahead and bump our nine up to 50. And let's go ahead and, so we've got 60s, 50s. We'll bump the four and 10 up to 50s and Let's add, let's take all of these. I know this is kind of crazy. Uh, we're gonna, uh, no. Yeah, see, I'm undecided here. Let's uh, add 10, 10, and 15, 15. We'll make those 15, 15. So $70 here. 15, 10, 60, 60, 50. It doesn't really matter unless we roll something. All right, here we go. Let's roll a hard way, shooter. Eight hard, beautiful thing of beauty. All right, so 60 is going to win 70. Uh, 10 is going to win 90. Let's do, let's do 100 for 10. And let's see, one, two, 250. We're probably, that means our ticket should show. We start off 120. We're probably at about $600 now. So we would hit cash out on our ticket, which means essentially we're pulling everything down. And I don't know if he waits for the next shooter or I don't think so. I think uh, you just start over at the 120. So I think we've met our goal. Let's go ahead and pull everything down and then we'll give back the 120. So I think we're in good shape here. Pull all this down. So 100 and 20 to remake our bets. Let's see if we're, our math was right. One, two, three, 50, uh, 375, yeah, 400. 475, 480, very cool. So worked out. Love it when a plan comes together, right? So we're gonna cash all that 480. And we're gonna take this 120 dealer and restart. So uh, 100 dealer, 96 across. So we'll get four and change and we'll get set up here. And then we have this $20 to cover the hard ways. And we're basically starting over, although we're in the middle of a roll. We hit our cash out ticket and let's keep going. So here we go, same shooter. Let's keep
keep it going. No, perfect time, I guess. All right, there's the seven, so everything's gonna come down. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna, just for visuals, I'm gonna bring everything down. We'll just stack it up right here because I'm about to use it again. Puck's gonna go off. So we're gonna have a new shooter. We'll give this one more try. All right, and so let's go. Dealer, we want 96 across. And there's our 120 for our hardways, which means $4 and change to the player. And then I already have this money, so we can just set it up here. Oops, do I have you somewhere? Oh, there it is. All right, we'll have our bets working. And here we go. Five. 15 is going to pay 21. And let's go, uh, let's bet, cover the, let's bump up, press up the outside numbers. And a dollar on the hard six. All right, here we go. 10 the hard way, 10 hard. And these, yep, these are buy bets at $20 and above. So 40 minus the big is gonna be 39. 30, 35, there we go, I need some ones. 39, and we hit the 10, so 35 over here. So let's go uh, $12 each on the six and eight. So we'll get a dollar change there. So I'll take these up to $30 bets. We'll go um, $5 each on the five and nine, get those to green. $5 each on the four and 10, get those to green. We'll go we still got 25 here. Let's go uh, cover the rest of the hard ways. Take every hard way up to six. And we'll go, we'll throw 25, we'll make the point. I think we're gonna hit the point, the 50, and we'll throw the two extra dollars, spread those on the six and eight. So six dollars, seven, 25, 30, 50. All right, we got 50 on that five. Shooting for that five. Tex, here we go. Four, the hard way, four hard. We'll take it, we love it. All right, that's gonna pay 50 minus the $1 VIG or 49. So let's just throw in the dollar here. And the hard four, we got $6 on. So we're going to win 42 there. So 25, 30, 42. So we probably won about 200 now. We're halfway to our goal, so let's press up some stuff. So let's go, uh, let's press up the six and eight. We'll take those to 60 each. Let's uh, throw this on the nine. So we got 50 each on the five and nine. And we'll go uh, throw the extra dollars. So now we have $7 on all the hard ways. And we'll put the extra five on the four. So we got a $30 four. All right, here we go. A couple more hits. Oh, famous last words. Down she goes. All right, uh, this is kind of fun. The math is kind of hurting my head, but I think I'm gonna give this one more shot and see what happens here. So let's go ahead and throw in a hundred dealer. We want 96 across. So four and change. And let's throw in the $20 to get the hard ways covered. We're going to have our bets working. Just turn it on that way. We are set up, ready to roll. Try this one more time. Again, I brought enough for, uh, you know, about five shooters. 
I think this is our third try at it. And we won one, right? So we should be okay. Here we go. 12 craps. We don't care about the crap number. We don't have a bet on any of the horn numbers. There's the five, point's gonna be five. So 15 is going to pay 21. Uh, I think we'll stick with pressing the outside numbers to 20. Again, that makes these the four and 10 buy. And we'll throw the extra dollar on the hard six because it's the point. And here we go. Oh, quick seven out, that's no good. So down our bets come. Just donated a quick 116 or so to the casino. But that's how it goes sometimes. All right, I am curious to find out if we are still up with that one win. So we'll go ahead and count that up now. And I will also show you how the standard did up here uh, with the rolls that I just rolled. Uh, we came in with 600. We've got one. Uh, sorry about that. Two, three, four, five. Uh oh, it's going to be close. We may have lost some money here. 525, 550. Yeah, I think we're in trouble. 555, 560, 65, 64. So 564, we did lose a little bit there. And then I'll also post uh, what the standard did up here above. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's banking on, you know, he brings enough for 10 shooters. He's trying to get two of them to win. So it's, it's an all or nothing strategy. So I don't know if you have the cojones to go for it. Uh, this might be interesting to you. So anyway, however you like to play, good luck on coloring up.